Y'all, I got some news for you today. I got some news for you today. Enjoy if you enjoy it if you are here. Your ass getting exposed today, buddy. Your ass getting exposed today, Jack. Now, if y'all been watching me, Julia is a Indian, right? A, a real Indian that's out there on the reservations or whatever. And he kept remember I did this video before where he kept on saying we not no kin to them. Well, I know I am. We not no kin to the Indians that we Africans and we need to go back to Africa and this and that and the other. And how we ain't kidding them. Our grandmas lied to us about us being Cherokees and Takas, Takwas and Blackfoots and this and that. They lied. That we, they don't know where they got their stories from. They lied. I'm telling this story today, Joy. If you run on, run up on here, you're going to run across you. Your ass got exposed today, Jack. We was over there on his page, right? And all the black dudes that kept coming over there, that was Indians, that was Cherokees, or whatever the hell they is. Every time they get to talking the truth, remember I told y'all he kicked them out the room all the time, and he kicked them out the room all the time. Me and Joy are cool. Okay, listen to this. This dude today, now I've been following it. I, I, my blood is, I don't know what it is. I have been following him for a while, right? So I was on there this morning because I got to have him because I know he's lying. I got on there this morning, right, and him and this dude, this dude got on there, and this dude exposed him and bust him out, right? This dude, I don't know how, but this dude had got a picture of his generation's family, of his grandmother. And I don't know if it was a picture of his grandmother, him, and like his mom and dad or something, but it was a family picture. Uh, of the Indian that's out on the reservation, the real Indian that's out there, they ain't kidding us. The dude, him and the dude was arguing back and forth, and he was like, dude, you black. Like, we we your people. Like, like I've been telling we your people. No, y'all ain't, ain't kidding us and this and that. The dude said, man, I got a picture of your grandmama. Like, I'll expose the picture. I, I got a picture of your grandmama. I screenshot the picture of your grandmama. Joey kept saying he didn't post his grandmama on the internet, right? The dude said, man, I'll bust you out right now. The dude put the picture on the internet, right? Guess what grandmama was rocking? Guess what grandmama had on her head, y'all? You ain't gonna believe it. The, the Indians out there on the reservations, they ain't kidding us. They ain't kidding me. Guess what grandmama was rocking? Grandmama was rocking one of these. Uh -huh, grandmama. Grandmama was a black woman. Grandmama was rock. And y'all know I told y'all I lived here before. I damn near thought it was me in that picture. On the wicked chair. Standing beside the baby. Grandmama was rocking the afro. But we Africans. But we ain't kin to them. But our grandmamas and granddaddies lied to us about being kin to them. Now we kin to them. He flips it to where we kin to them, but we watered down. Is we kin to y'all or not? Well, at least I know I am because let me tell you something. You know how like people talk about what their mama told them or their grandmama told them and tell family stories, right? I can tell you I had a full-blooded Cherokee aunt. I had a Cherokee aunt. Her name was Aunt Earthy. I was the baby. She lived in Brownsville, Tennessee. I was the baby, and she lived to be 95. My mom and dad used to take us to see her, and everybody had to gather around from brothers and sisters, mama, daddy, and everybody to help while she sit there to help braid her hair, to help grease her hair, to put plaits on her hair, and while she would hold me. I would have to sleep in the bed with Aunt Earthy, and I was scared of her because she had all of this hair, and she looked foreign to me. But I didn't know she was an Indian. Well, I knew she was Indian, but I knew at the... And I used to have to sleep in the bed with her. And my mom and dad would take pictures of me sleeping in the bed with my Aunt Earthy. That was her name, Aunt Earthy. So this ain't even no story about... Like my mom told me or my grandma told me I came out the Cherokee tribe. I came out the Cherokee clan. Like I'm not lying. I did come out the Cherokee clan. I had an aunt that lived to be 95 or 96 named Aunt Earthy that used to hold me. And when, I don't know if Aunt Earthy passed away when I got like seven or eight or something like that. She died. But I had 
had an aunt named Aunt Earthy. Yo, this man, this this Indian that's out there on the reservation, his grandmama looked like me in that picture. Looked just like me in that picture. Damn it. I wondered that if that was me from my other life before. That woman looked just like me, but they ain't kin to nobody, y'all. They We need to go back to Africa. Well, what was your grandma? He tried to rule it off, y'all. As that he tried to explain the Afro and her blackness that she was some type of Mohawk, Mohawk Indian. But you already said that you don't care who people of color are that's Indians. If they have Afros, they not Indians. Period. Well, can you explain Grandmama sitting there looking just like this? Her hair was the same length as my same. I, I damn near thought that was me in that picture, y'all. Can you explain grandmama then? Y'all, I, I, I already know I'm Cherokee. I already know I was taught that by my mom and my grandma. And plus, like I said, I was around for my auntie that was a full-blooded Cherokee Indian. I was around for it. And he was mad the other day because Bow Wow was on there and he showed pictures of his grandma that was an Indian. It was the same deal and the grandmama was like a little girl. Had hair like Bow Wow's but it was more silkier and it was coming down. Indians, but he keeps saying we... On TikTok, Joya, J-O-I-A-H, but we ain't kin to them, but we need to go back to Africa. But if you see they grandmamas, they first, second, and third, um, he claimed this was this was his third generational grandmother. Uh, it could have been because they did live that long with an afro. So how we need to go back to Africa if grandmama sitting there with an afro back then? I'm confused. My auntie was a Cherokee. She didn't even have no afro, afro at all. That woman didn't have no afro. She had straight hair. But he said, "We lying. That uh, we we don't. He don't know where our um grandmoms and granddads is telling us that we Cherokees and that we Indians because we not. And and, and if we got afros, we not Indians. We Africans." Well, what do that make his grandmama? But he he yellow. He a peachy African. He a, I mean, uh, uh, Indian. He out there on the reservation. But grandmama looked like grandmama looked goodbye.